I've got some cool gift ideas for the traveler in your life coming up. When you're traveling, noise can be an issue, especially compared to your home country. So in the instance where you're traveling to pretty much anywhere else, Asia, Central, South America, you're going to want to be reducing noise. First idea for that would be these noise canceling or noise reducing headphones. These ones here are from Bose. I use these in a multitude of situations. I'll use them on the airplane. I use them in the gym and I'll use them when I'm studying or working. These particular headphones are the around the ear version. You can get fully over the ear uh, version as well. These ones here would reduce noise. We'll leave a link in the description below, but if, uh, if you're looking for a complete noise canceling headphone, we'll leave a link in the description for one of those also from Bose. These little earplugs here have saved us multiple times and made the difference between a sleep and not sleeping. They're excellent and inexpensive. I can highly recommend them. In conjunction with that, I use this neck buff to cover my eyes because almost invariably, no matter where you're trying to sleep when you're traveling, there's a 1 million megawatt LED light shining right in your eyes. If you're new to this channel, you might not know the Plan Free travels six months a year internationally. And for the other six months in our home country, we live off the grid in an RV. So the ability to be able to bring our music with us wherever we go is of huge value. Currently we use this small portable Bose speaker for that. We hook up uh, Bluetooth through both of our phones and our laptops, which also enables us to create a richer, deeper sound when we're watching, let's say YouTube videos, TV program, or a movie. Oftentimes when we rent a space in an international country, like this one here, quite spacious, here in Lake Atitlan, Guatemala, there's no TV in here. Luckily, there's a huge white wall behind us, perfectly suited for a portable, small digital projector. That enables us to recreate somewhat of a real movie experience with the large projector screen and the speaker that I just talked about. This is a very valued travel item. Still on the subject of renting spaces that might not be as duly appointed as you're used to, this lantern here comes in handy because invariably where we rent, there's either no light to be had at all, or it's a 1 million megawatt, I don't know if you can see that, 1 million megawatt bright blue LED, very harsh on the eyes. So this lantern here has helped us to light spaces that don't have a light at all, or to light it with a softer light than what we have uh, in the sockets. This is an inexpensive item, USB and solar powered. We use this all the time, super handy. This selfie stick slash camera holder is another item that the traveler in your life is going to value. It will hold your phone, GoPro, whatever else. And what it enables you to do, this tripod just folds out. You can change the size however you want. What it enables the person to do is put your phone in the holder, set it down stationary in front of you so that you can have a, a good quality phone call, whether that be with uh, someone you're working with or someone you're working for, or more importantly, with friends and family. You'll be able to get a hands-free stationary call. We use this thing all the time. This portable power bank is another thing that we use frequently. It enables us through these two USB ports to recharge our phones no matter where we are. Last year in Ecuador, we stayed for six months and I think we logged about 300 bus hours. Several times we would be on a bus that didn't have a charger and we were able to uh, revitalize our phone through plugging into this thing. It has enough power to recharge your phone several times. We've also been in scenarios where we're out for a day trip or hikes or whatever, and we've run our GoPro batteries dead. This enabled us to recharge our GoPro batteries in full. Not very expensive, super valuable item if you're in a place that doesn't have power access. Dry bag is another cool gift idea for the traveler in your life. It enables you to create a waterproof carrier for things that you don't want to get wet. Let's say it's electronics or clothing, what have you. You can take it on a boat or wherever you might be going in the rain and everything will stay dry in there. Conversely, let's say you've spent a day at the beach, you've got wet towels and swim, swim trunks. You can place that in this bag, keeping all the wet stuff inside and place it with the rest of your stuff and everything will remain dry that's not in this bag. If you have a coffee loving traveler in your life, they're going to really enjoy this. In our case, like I mentioned before, we're never in one spot, but we're always trying to make a good cup of coffee. So we've learned over the years to buy and travel with a few items that makes that possible. First thing is this AeroPress. 
mini compact coffee press. You can make several different sizes, right down to an espresso shot, Americano, all different kinds of coffee. It's lightweight and it's plastic. It's been very durable for us. I don't know if you can see that, but we're actually discoloring it here because we've used it so many times. These have small little paper filters that are inexpensive and lightweight that you can also travel with. This item here has made the difference for us many times. The second item is this ceramic conical hand grinder from Hario. It enables us to evenly grind coffee beans without creating heat wherever we are. And so we'll buy locally grown coffee, grind it ourselves fresh, and it makes a huge difference in our coffee that we're able to make. Once you've gone through all that effort to make a nice cup of coffee, we use these Yeti insulated containers to keep them warm. If you're like me, you like your coffee to stay hot for a while and these insulated cups really help in that regard. The cool bonus part is, is if you're traveling somewhere warm, these can also be used in the opposite way to keep drinks cold. I've been in plus 30 degree Celsius weather before, placed four ice cubes in whatever beverage I'm drinking out of these, and two hours later, I still have ice. So excellent for virgin margaritas, mojitos, whatever else you might be enjoying. If you got value from this video, click the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this and other travel related content, we're plan free. Click subscribe and the blue bell icon so you always know when the next video is coming out. And happy shopping.